number six tonight at Wayne State University dealing with a discrimination dispute. It stems from a summer workshop for Black Girls Code. Seven Action News reporter Alan Campbell spoke with the U of M Flint professor who's behind this complaint, Alan. Well, Glenda, tonight that professor says that he is on a mission to make sure universities across the nation aren't violating Title IX, discrimination against sex and race. However, that professor says Wayne State University violated Title IX over a summer program. The Office for Civil Rights is investigating Wayne State for racial discrimination and gender discrimination. U of M Flint professor Mark Perry recently filed a complaint against Wayne State for hosting a summer program he says is only for African-American girls. And the Office for Civil Rights in Cleveland, which has jurisdiction over Michigan, has accepted my complaint and they've opened an investigation. Perry's concern is over a summer workshop for Black Girls Code. The workshop introduces computer coding to young African-American girls between 13 and 17. Perry says it was discriminatory to boys and a breach of Title IX. They're also in violation of the Michigan Constitution, which prohibits any public university in Michigan from hosting or sponsoring or, or offering any program that discriminates based on race or gender. We reached out to Wayne State University for comment. They sent us a statement that reads in part. Wayne State hosts co-educational programs in coding and other STEM fields similar to Black Girls Code for both boys and girls. Therefore, the university is not in violation of Title IX or any other statute or law prohibiting discrimination based on sex. Perry tells me he's filed more than two dozen Title IX complaints at various schools across the country. I have about 35 different complaints pending against universities all over the United States. I've decided to kind of target the summer STEM programs. The summer STEM program is becoming popular all over the nation, especially with computer coding. Perry insists he's not trying to single out certain universities, but wants to make an even playing ground for everyone. All I'm asking for is a consistent application of the Civil Rights Act and Title IX that amended the Civil Rights Act so that universities in the United States do not discriminate based on gender and or race. And Professor Perry says he will continue to file complaints and anything he considers to be discriminatory to Title IX university offices in the future. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Alan Campbell, Action News. All right, Alan, thank you.